This is a cyclist racing helmet worn by Davis Finney of Boulder, Colorado, 20 years of age, who says, I just might be the most trained bike rider in the United States. Davis, what do you mean by that? Well, when you ride four or five hundred miles a week for <laughs> eight, ten months of the year, you kind of feel like you should be pretty fit. But you're not in school now. You graduated from Boulder High School. Right, 1977. So what? The last couple, three years have been devoted to cycling. Yep, just riding all the time. What got you into it? Well, I just got interested in it. I saw the first Red Zinger Classic, and that just got me hooked. Uh huh. Davis, you read about it in a magazine. Did you read about heroes? Do you have heroes in cycling now? Oh, yeah. There's still uh, guys I really look up to, uh, professional riders in Europe. All right. You're 20 years old. How many bikes do you have? I have four. What does a bicycle weigh? Uh, about 20 pounds. And it has gears? Oh, yeah. 12 to even 14 gears for a racing bike. And they're expensive? Very expensive. Uh, $1,000. Do you have a sponsor? Somebody helps you pay the bills? Well, yes. My, the club I ride for is sponsored by AMF Wheel Goods. Now, you're down in Colorado Springs a good share of the time. Where do you ride down there? Well, they just, there's just on the roads. Uh, I'm at the Olympic Training Center down there, and we just have groups that are sent out, and the coaches follow us in cars and <laughs> just watch us and see how we're doing. You weigh how much? 160 pounds. What about body strength? You're certainly well developed. Uh, it just, can you get it just from riding a bicycle? Well, pretty much. Uh, you do a little weight lifting or variable things in the winter, but you ride your bike for eight months straight and do nothing else. <laughs> what you call the season for bicycle riding? Oh, March through October. You won one big race, though, in the Red Zinger, yeah, the, the Vail race, didn't you? Right. But how far is that? Well, that was probably 20, 25 miles, very short race. All right, but these are against, you had foreign entrants here? There are a lot of people in that Red Zinger. Yeah, it's the biggest race in, in, in the U.S. And I think we should tip our hat to the Red Zinger people. They do a tremendous job in putting on a show. Oh, yes, definitely. All right, Davis. The word is, what, Eric Hyden and speed skating uh, in cycling? You've got to go to Europe to compete. Pretty much. The uh, All the best riders are in Europe, and so they send Americans over there to try and keep up with them. All right. Here's 20-year-old Davis Finney in Italy, near Milan. Right. All right. What, what, how many, uh, what, the big race, how many, how many bicycles in it? Uh, 300, 330 bike racers. That many? Yeah. All right, tell me, what was the feeling? What happened? Well, it was just amazing. I mean, there was just so much electricity in the air from all these bike riders. And uh, there's so many people in Europe that, that really like bike riding. It's, you just can't believe it. And you're just going so hard just trying to stay in there with all these, the best riders in the world. Had you been over the course? Oh, no, well, this one, yeah. But normally we never get to see the course and never know where the finish is. The road's goes. rough, bumpy at times? Pretty much. Uh, cobbles, a lot of hills. Uh -huh. All right. How did you pace yourself? What did you do? Well. In a race, in those races, you just pretty much have to go as fast as you can, and you just try and just try and stay in there. If you have anything left at the end, then you, <laughs> you try and win, but it's really hard. Your legs are screaming. Oh, you just—it's unbelievable how much how much your body is hurting, but you just can't think about it. You just got to go harder and harder and harder and harder, and then finally you're done. You take any nourishment with you as you're riding? Um, some tea or water or banana. That's all you have. Yeah. Right, you couldn't speak the language. Did that bother at all? A little bit. Uh, we could just speak enough Italian just to get by, but All never right. knew what 300 they were racers in the race. Where'd you come in? Do you have any idea? Uh, probably around 30th. Not everybody finished. No, there was only 70 or 75 who finished. All right, you're, you're riding in a race, Davis. You look up ahead and you see a fellow looks pretty strong. And you say, I'm going to catch him and pass him. Or do you? Or do you just ride your own race? Well, it just depends. Uh, sometimes you just can't let that the good guys get away or they're gone. And, and so there's a point where you just got to say, I got to either catch him or else I'm not going to do it. Now that's a pretty good long race. What's the longest race you'd ride? Uh, 125 miles. And the shortest race? Anywhere from 30 to 35 miles for normal. All right. You've decided to do this. You graduated from Boulder High School. You're not in school now. No. You're a full-time bike rider. Right. I'm just a full-time athlete. How long will you do this? Well, I'm not sure. I'm just uh, seeing how my results go this year and see pretty much what happens. Your bicycle riders in Europe, they're older, aren't they? 
Yes, the general general age is 25 to 30. They scare you? A little bit, a little bit, but uh, it's just a matter of having confidence in yourself. You know, you think about the Belgians, all of these riders, uh, they must compete an awful lot all year. Oh yeah, they race probably 150 times a year, and uh, that's where the sport evolved, is in Europe, and so you've got to go there if you want to get better. The goal for you would what? Be the Olympic Games? Well, yeah, that would be really nice. What, uh, how many do they have training at Colorado Springs? Well, right now they have about 50 to 60 riders, just the U.S. cycling national team. And then the team is made up of how many? Eight, eight riders. That's, uh, that boils it down pretty tight, doesn't it? It's, it's really tough. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's your life right now, and this is what you want to do. Right. Did you ever think of baseball or basketball or anything like that? Well, oh, sure, when I was a little kid, but once I got into this, I thought of nothing else. Now you're riding the bicycle and you've got 12 to 14 gears. You have to anticipate, look ahead and tell when you're going to shift and all that. Yeah, you have to pace yourself and keep up the right cadence, RPM. And it's fairly technical, really. Do you ever daydream when you're riding? Um, not in a race. Pretty much you just got to keep your nose to the grindstone. Do you ever dancing. sing to yourself or anything like that? <laughs> a few times. All right. Yeah. But you have crashes, too. Oh, yeah. How does it pile up? Generally on a turn, something like that? Well, it could be in a rider who's just not thinking, hits another rider, and then everybody goes down. It's a lot like car racing in that. The Vale run was a pretty good run. Yeah, felt really good. All right, how many were in that race? Well, about 85 riders uh, start the race, and then one is pulled out each lap as sprints. It's called a missing out. Davis, have we got good riders in this area? Yeah, we do. Colorado has bred four or five of the top 15 riders in just the last few years. The Cook fellow? Bob Cook. He's, he's uh, the best climber in the U.S. I went to the first Red Zinger race. They called off your name, they called off Cook and others, and I wanted to see what you guys look like. Next thing I know, off you go. Cook doesn't come around the first time. He's crashed on the first turn, and he was eliminated from all competition for the five days. Right. That, that was, was terrible. That was really bad because Bob Cook was second the year before, and he was really was in good shape and possibly could have won the race, but that's bike racing. Yeah. It's just luck. And Does your dad ride a bike? Oh, yeah. He, he's not a racer. What does he think of all this? Oh, he gets pretty excited when, when I do well, yeah. so it's fine. But right now, Colorado Springs is your thing. Right. And if there's no Olympic Games, what, will you continue doing this? Well, in cycling, Olympics aren't the only thing. There's a lot of other races, and I'd like to go back to Europe and right. race there. <laughs> where, where would you like to go? Back to Italy? Well, possibly, or uh, they're going to send a team to France this spring, so that's what I'm aiming for right now.